Hello wonderful people, men and women of good conscience and lovers of freedom all over the globe. We bring you greetings from the desk of Nicky Bobby, where we bring you reliable news across Biafra land, across the Zoological Republic, Africa and near the world. We must say good morning, good afternoon and good evening, depending on your time zone. At this day, today is Saturday, the 26th day of November 2022. This is coming from the desk of Nick Bobby, where we always share a notable and verifiable information to our people. We always bring you this information, especially those who are in living in different rural parts of Biafra land, because they are the main targets currently of what is going on. Well, before we continue, we want to invite you to hit the subscribe button of Nick Bobby to go ahead and give us thumbs up if you like the information we are bringing to you. At this day, it is necessary that we bring more clarity to you again based on the latest event that has been going on in Biafra land, especially in Enugu and Abia states of late. Of course, in Imo states, it has been a reoccurring event week after week without letting up. The same thing is going on in a number of states. But of late, since two weeks now, it has been another frame of issue that is going on in Enugu and Abia states. First, we want to let our people know those in Omoaya side, the, the area of Mazin and the Kanu's home, are Faru Kuibeku. And the military say that they are doing outreach currently there in Afarukui Beku, as well as Ohafia. What type of outreach they are doing? They say they are giving injections to our people. <laughs> um, you can understand when the Fulani military begin to give out injection. Why? What type of injection? What brought about this? <laughs> Is there any. Should I say diagnosis that is going on? Is there any issue that you must go? You say you are reaching, uh, giving outreach in terms of are uh, people they are suffering? Are there an issue? Why? And um, there are some certain words where we are not permitted to use here. So we want you to use your tongue and count your teeth. When the full army military all of a sudden comes up, Farukui Beku come to Ohafia and you know what has been happening of late and claim they are doing outreach by saying that they are sanitizing. There is no malaria that is going on, right? That we require the military to give um, a general um, injection, right? Our people in that area should take as much care as possible not to fall into this their hand. Because what they are coming up with is another strategy to give out a total cleansing in Afarukui Beku, in Ohofia, and some parts, um, some communities within our other states. I believe you'll understand where I'm driving out. I believe you'll understand where I'm driving out. Reject Nigerian military, full and military with their outreach in your community because it will not give something meaningful. This is practically another way of administering poison on our people. Let me use that word so that you will get a clear understanding of where we are heading to and what information we are bringing to you. This is the fact. Another thing I want you to look at is, here I'm going to quote it verbatim the way it is. This is coming from IPOB, as well as... Um, the intelligent group of IPO that has been posted by Mars Ichina Sanur. Before he posted this thing today, week before last and last week, some days ago, we have equally been telling our people that what is going on in Enugu states. It's a, a planned queue for Nigeria from Nigerian government are uh, using the Fulani, their military, the police. DSS. Well, the Air Force is involved as well. Then, with some of the agent provocateurs 
who are claiming to be their friends, who are working hand in hand with the federal government, with the DSS. We have been saying, we concentrated on this matter since two weeks now, telling you that our people that are passing through all these things in Enugu states, that these are being met and say calculated and combined efforts by these agents that I just mentioned. Now, earlier today, Mazdina Samoro have posted this information to tell you that we have been bringing you this certain information. It says, attention, he is referring to uh, the GOC in 82 Division Enugu Military Command. This is General Officer Commanding GOC of the 82, 82 Division of the Nigerian Army Enugu, Major General Omar Musa. According to reports available to IPOB intelligence units, this Fulani Army General is the cause for the upsurge in kidnapping and Fulani killing in Enugu State these days. He has caused a lot of problem in the northern Nigeria by killing a lot of indigenous people in the north, even in the western Nigeria Aziz and many other states governments have all rejected him not to be posted in their states because of his shady backgrounds and also he is a strong sympathizer of Boko Haram and Iswa. Our people must stand up because this man is a danger looming in Enugu. Since he was transferred from Kaduna to Enugu, Kidnapping have increased in Enugu. We can see what is happening around Four Corner, and those rescued have narrated what those Fulani kidnappers told them. They boasted to the victims that they can tell the world after they have paid the ransom that they don't care for anything, that their boss is in charge of the army in the region, and because of this army general, in the military, anywhere he is transferred, he moves with Fulani bandits, kidnappers, and his main group. There are numerous reports that many people have complained to the Southeast governors, but they have all kept mute about this Fulani Nigerian army general sent to our land to destabilize Enugu. And he concluded by saying, share widely. Well, unquote, this is the information I didn't necessarily to bring to you. The reason why I'm bringing this information to you is for us to continue sensitizing and sanitizing your sensibilities. Because if you have watched over the chains of events and activities, information we have been bringing from, for, to you from the beginning till now, you will find that we have been consistent in bringing you the truthful nature of everything. We have told you, time without number, what is going on in Enugu as well as in Biafra land, that the Nigerian government, the FG, is using their, their people in uniform, like this man, heading various units in every indigenous um, region they went, bringing the full enhancement, they are bandits, which has been confirmed by this IPOB intelligence unit being posted by Mars General Samuel, that this is the truth. This is what is going on. In Enugu State, our people naively allow the government of Enugu State, the Fulani Hesmen, the Nigerian government, in this case the presidency, to deceive them by rejecting ESN about a year ago or more than. So those communities now in Biafra land, let me be specific, in Enugu that rejected ESN. What is their situation currently now? Those people that talk them into rejecting EF ESN now are going from house to house in those communities, deleting all of them. In fact, some of the communities in Enugu, for example, in Amufu, uh, people are no longer living there. Three days ago, four days ago, five days ago, you saw them carrying their properties. There was a great exodus moving from these their communities, not only Amufu, 
in other a place other places in in Ugo states these are the people who rejected ESN. They said no, they prefer the Fulanese. They prefer the Enugu state's government protection. But do you know the most shocking part of it? Is that the governor of Enugu state, till this morning, till now, till, even till tomorrow, I believe, he will not say anything. He watched for his arms and watched the massacre that is going on in those communities. Who are these people deleting? Our own brothers, even though they rejected ESN because Enugu state government, the Fulanese, the president, they took them in. And one word, other because of their um, insatiable want for money, their thirst to accumulate wealth, to collect money. This is why they decided to reject an ordained security outfit for Biafra land being instituted by Mazen and the Kanu DOS and IPOB to protect our people. I know where I'm driving to. I want you to follow what I'm saying sequentially and understand the points I'm making here. Today, earlier, uh, some of this group that came earlier, as soon as Mazen and the Colonel was renditioned, uh, a group came out and started fighting DOS. You know the people I'm referring to. This group, there has never anything that they have not done in order to tarnish the image of the DOS. They said that we are the disciples of Mazin Namdekano. Yeah. But right now, what is going on? They are now blackmailing Mazin Namdekano, even as he is at the DSS dungeon. At the beginning, they said that they are supporting what the legal team was doing. At a point, they now turned around. They started creating sects. Decision, everything within. They say Barista Lawyer Jimako was the person who is after Mazen and the Kano. Uh, you know when all these things happened last year? At a point, um, from there they start moving. Uh, they say it is Barista Ifanye Jofo. At a point, they now generalize it that it is the entire IPO Bilego team. All these things, we are analyzing it one after the other and telling our people that you should desist from listening to this set of people, that these are the people who are really working with Nigerian government. They are bringing information for the DSS. As a matter of fact, DSS and Nigerian government is seizing them to destroy the real Lumochineke. We say this time without number. As so many of you fall off. You didn't believe us. Of course, some of you at a point came and said they apologize. But what I'm trying to tell you is that at a point, uh, they call themselves that they are the autopilotas. At a point, they say they are Idu. They start working hand in hand, even though within themselves, they split this group. They were working hand in hand. At a point, they now decide to separate. I tell you, this is a strategy that has been employed by the federal government because they continue working to make sure that everything these groups are doing is to bring down IPOB, is to bring down Biafran restoration. At a point, they have seen that their impact is not really coming up well. They, they derived or devised a means by one, by one of them to start sharing the nude pictures of their members. You recall when it happened, he shared the new picture. And your question you might ask is, how did they get those pictures? That is to tell you that those whom you believe, whom you ignorantly believe, that they are fighting for the restoration of Biafra, that they are freedom fighting, are not really freedom fighting, they are doing. They are doing, they are, they are doing, uh, committing a, a sort of thing they want. Those, the freedom fighters indeed, sharing their pictures, they are not one indeed to each other. So they are doing boyfriend, girlfriend. friend. But that's by the way, at a point, from that point of sharing these pictures, they behave as if they have splitted. But what I want you to understand is that the Nelly herself was the bone of contention at the very genesis of all these things that were happening. When he went to his platform and started saying, Blaming the OS, calling the OS name, saying everything against the OS. And the owner of the platform couldn't stop her. 
what the owner of the platform said is that uh, every Biafran should listen to her because she is coming from a place of concernment, a place of concern, so to say. All from the beginning, this is a script mapped out by Nigerian government with their DSS. I remember vividly, um, Nikki Bobby started from the beginning and tell you that these are the things we know. You cannot come and use our own brand to play ping pong. We understand this from the very beginning, even before you blink your eyes. We said it, that this is the hundred and this is your game. All these things are strategy to continue confusing and deceiving some of you. And unfortunately, most of you fall prey to them. They got you guys and you started following them. At a point when they notice that some people have come to retrace their step, they instructed a kind of um, quarrel within themselves to confuse, confuse you the more, for you to believe that they are, they are separating, that they are fighting each other. No, they are still working hand in hand. This is what I can tell you. But today, you have seen record that is going around. The so-called Idu by Nelly, all the names he has called Eberima. You have seen everything they have said, how they are expose, how they say that Eberima is working with Dave Omaya, with the governor of Imo states, with the governor of um, Enugu states, all these ones that from the beginning. But if you are sensitive enough, if you are sensible enough, you ask yourself, at what point did Nelly get to understand that these are working together? That this guy is an agent of the, of, of the DSS, agent of the governors of the Eastern region? When you ask yourself that question, you'll be able to use your brain to reflect back and interpolate. From the very first beginning, these are the people that even went to Brian Sampe Master to work with them. So... The conclusion of the matter remains that Nelly knows from the beginning. He, she cannot come to them and claim that she never knew because she has been working with them from the very first day. Was she not the one who said that this Eberima was sent by Chukwoki Kabiyama to represent Mazenam, in fact, to take over from Mazenam the Khan? Did you all, have you all forgotten when he said, Eberima, I got your back, I got your back? We must bring the OS down during one of their brokers that we are doing. Did you forget all these things uh, by sudden, so quick? Do not be deceived. Even with the, all the names that Nelly are, is calling him today. Even with the, all the names today, they are saying that the Barista GFO has been working with them for a long time which is still a frantic lies. All these things are geared together to still, uh, it's a means to continue deceiving you more so that the more you try to look, the less you see. You do not need to listen to them so much for you to understand what they are made up of. I am uh, arriving at a point, that is why I'm taking my time to dish out those points I'm giving to you. Serially. So for you to follow the event sequentially from when it started happening to this particular point in time. Let me call the story short at this point. Today what they are saying, they are speaking, talking convincingly to some people who don't understand. The narrative they are carrying around now is that, that what is happening in Biafra land that Fulanese has never engaged in the massacre that is going on in Biafra land. How can you say so? I am talking to those who say that they are Biafrans and whom are still being carried around by the breeze, the wind of this life that's being peddled by this group of people who want to bring down the IPOB structure. Today, they are saying unequivocally, that Fulani has never engaged in the massacre that is going on in Biafra land. Then who are the people who have been engaging? 
They say that they want to let the world understand that it is the IGBO, which is the Igbo people. It is the Biafrans that has been doing so. From the earlier time, we have told you that Eperima is working with the governors, with the DSS, with Nigerian government. A lot of insecurity that is being carried out in Biafra land is being carried out by their group. All of them, by none, they know. All of them. Recall when um, Nelly was saying that they have created their, their own ESN, that they must go and fight the OS and delete all of them. Nelly that they said that a day before the day they were making that broadcast, that they have deleted over 500 Biafrans who are the real ESN. She might not be saying the truth. She might be saying the truth. As at that point last year. So if this group of people have come out today and said that the Fulani is Nigerian government and not the issue in Biafra land today. But it is Igbos. Do you know the information they are passing to the world? They are telling the world what Nigerian government want them to say. Because it is Nigerian government that created this recent narrative. And they started coming by telling you that the other group, that they are not at war with the other group of Fate Merima, which this group they call themselves Idu. Idu now is saying that they are at war with Fate Merima. Now, they want to use this opportunity to catch and capture your mind, believing that what they are saying is the truth. Why they are busy selling the narrative of Nigeria, of the presidency, to the world, that the narrative which is against the philosophy of Mazen Namdekan. Now, if Mazen Namdekan threw out all his preaching and saying that what IPOB is fighting, what ESN is fighting, is to protect our own land from the fallen invaders. And today, this group are preaching otherwise that's no. That even though they say that they are following, they are disciples of Mazen Namdekan, that what Mazen Namdekan is saying is not true. That is not the Fulanese. In fact, as a matter of fact, that the ESN and the IPOB are not fighting to protect Biafrans from the Fulanese. In fact, that the people that are causing the issue is the Igbos. Which, in other words, since, since the 13th day of October 2022, that IPOB called order that Mazen and the Colonel should be acquitted and discharged, the FG turned things around and starts saying, that why they don't want to let Mazen and the Kano go is because of the insecurity being carried out in the eastern region. Today, the Hindu people are saying that yes, what government is saying is the truth. Of course, they know that it is a lie from the pit of hell. So, what is the Hindu doing? They are helping the Nigerian government to sell out their narrative to the world, saying the other way around that the first article I read from here, published by the IPOB intelligence unit, is not true. That is what he do is proving to you. Do you understand where I'm coming from and uh, how I'm taking my time to analyze this? Because whenever we come, bring you normal activities that is going on in Biafra land, it seems that your mental capability, capacity is not able to absorb those things we are bringing to you. Because when we tell you the truth, how things are going, you don't truly really encapsulate it. He do are working for Nigerian government for the same goal and object objective. He do and the Prima. They are working together till tomorrow. I believe they have not. They are. They are still working together. They have not separated. Forget about this narrative they are bringing today, telling you that what is going on in Biafra land today is majorly being perpetrated and carried out by Igbo people, by Biafrans. This is the narrative that the federal government want them to sell so that tomorrow the federal government will turn around and tell the world, but okay, look at what their members are saying, that they are the one doing it, not even the, them that is Fulani. But you have seen what I just read to you, that the GOC commanding the 82 Division of Nigerian Army in Enugu, General Omar Musa, have made it a pattern, a habit, 
that wherever he is posted, he is going there with the full of the bandits, kidnappers, and henchmen. All together, Israel and Boko Haram. He moved down with them. Three weeks ago, we brought you information where a helicopter was dropping, busy dropping the Fulani T groups in any good top hill in hundreds. That day, the helicopter will always bring, drop them, go out. Where are they coming from? You saw it. A day is that they are Fulani T group, the Boko Haram, they swap. That this man is commanding, telling them, bringing them in. People, indigenous group in the Zoological Republic from different territories have maintained that they don't want this man to be posted in their own region again. Because this is the same work he did in Medugri. He finished the indigenous people in Medugri. He came to Kaduna the same thing. He is working to advance the conquest of the Fulani to various indigenous territories. So the federal government is seizing him. And when he comes in, he has his group of Boko Haram, Swap, as well as Fulani, Hedas, the, the, the uh, bandit, the T groups, the Mietiala. He knows how he organized them. And that is why since two weeks now, Enugu has been in chaos, on fire. What is going on in Enugu and neighboring states? The Fulanis, through the federal government of Nigeria, are busy mining mineral resources in Enugu states, in neighboring states. In order to maintain what is going on there, they have to introduce insecurity. These are the things that are going on. They learn this from Britain, from France and other Western countries because they are working hand in hand with them. So they bring about this insecurity in Enugu, in Ebony states, in Hafia, that is Cyber states. And they are telling you that it is the IPOB, it is the Easterners. Why it is these people? The GOC of Enugu, the Command 82 Division. This is what is going on. What is the lesson we are telling you? Our conclusion and summary is to tell you that forget about the narrative that is being, the voice note that is being flying across today in the morning. That the Edu group are circulating, saying that whatever that is going on in Biafra land today is being caused by Biafrans. This is Nigerian government speaking. This is the script, this is the narrative being scripted, being published by the presidency through the military, through the DSS, to these their agent provocateurs, they are selling it. They are still working hand in hand with all of them. They have never separated. Forget about things that looks like quarry that is going on. No. All these things is in a bid to confuse you the more for you to believe that they have separated, that they are quarreling, while at the same time, they are really working hard to advance the objective of the Fulanese as well as the Zoological Republic government. This is the exact point we want you to understand. At a point, the two leaders, which is Nelly and their fellow, uh, came back, they started begging the DOL from the behind that they want to reconcile with them after you must have caused a lot of problem. It's not seem that you have repented, no. Coming back to DOS to work with them means they want to get into the SSD more. These people have no repentance. I told our people, do not accept this repentance. Do not accept this approach because if you accept it, tomorrow you will still see it happen. And good at in DOS, they are wise. They never listen to them because for somebody to wake up in the morning, at the middle of the day, at night, and decide to hijack IPOB, create their own group and say that it's no longer DOS, that he is running IPOB, that he is, she and he have taken over. That means this is a critical cue they plan. And the person cannot just turn around overnight and be asking DOS to continue to start working with them again. So we are taking our time to analyze it. Last time, Barrister Jaffa said, if you are still sitting on the fence, 
If you at this point you are still thinking, who are the people that are piloting these affairs? That there means you don't know anything. The earlier you start supporting what the OS is doing, the better. And these things still stand. We still stand where we stand from the beginning. From the very first day, we had a Mazin and the Khan has been renditioned. Where we stood is where we are standing to this moment. Do not be deceived by listening to them, believing what they are saying. The narrative they are saying is to make sure that Mazin and the Khan remains there. How can somebody come and tell you that it is the Igbos, it is the Biafran that is causing this security? So full of the people that are destroying our farms are no longer there. Uh, the Ni Chinese, the Nigerian government that are drilling, that are extracting the mineral resources in Ebony State, in Enugu State, in Biafra, um, in Ipe State, they, they are not doing anything again. The Fulanese that are kidnapping our people here and there is no longer them. The bandit no longer them. All of a sudden, you are turning the narrative around, trying to sell it to the world for Mars and Nam the Khan to continue being detained. And tomorrow you want to say, let's listen to them. They are saying the truth. They are coming from what they are saying is the truth. How dare you say so? These are the things that are necessary. Because for the first four days now, you've seen the things that is going on in Enugu State. Over five communities has been deserted by the work of the military. They are going, they pull together uh, the fallen enhancement. At the end of the, day, of the day, they tell you it's the full enhancement. The military have exempted themselves while they are working hand in hand with the full enhancement as well as those who are integrated, conscripted into the military. That is the Boko Haram. This is what is going on in the Nugu state today. Somebody is telling you that it's no longer them. It's our own brothers. Yes, from the beginning we've told you. That they themselves will equally work hand in hand with them because there is no way Fulanese will come in without them. This is their group working hand in hand with them. The truth is what we are bringing to the table and it's what we are telling you. If you want, listen to us. If you do not want, go ahead and do what you want. Tomorrow, nature, truth. We be our witness that we said it to you. Of course, Chukwokika Ibiyama said he is sending his, his prophets. Not that the people will listen to his prophets and repent, but that the world we know, nature will be a witness that yes, the prophets we are once with them and the prophets spoke to them the truth. I am not saying that I'm a prophet, but the truth is what we have brought to you. We want you to hit to read. If you felt that's left for you, we will not forget to reiterate once again to everyone listen that we are Biafrans, an original Biafran indeed. Ezibu Muchnek indeed. And we do not owe anyone apology to state unequivocally. That it is in Biafra land that all of us owes our citizenship. And until Biafra is fully restored, we will not rest. May you remain safe and blessed for those who believe in the restoration and the pure and original restoration of Biafra.